I think it's the most important thing for human beings. If you dig into the ancient uh, philosophical work or into the history, uh, or also nowadays if you ask a mother or a father what they want for their children, the only thing they say, they need to become happy or they need to be happy. So it's, it's at the basics of human mankind and um, people that are happy, uh, they do better, they develop better, they have stronger relationships. So for, from a personal perspective it's important, but also from a societal aspect it's very important. Yeah, well I was doing my PhD on uh, childhood psychopathology and emotional and problem behavior. And I suddenly realized when I was nearly finished that only about 25% of the children uh, do develop some problems. So 75% of these children, percent of these children are doing well. Uh, and nobody actually focused on the children that are doing well. And then I digged into the literature and see, well, what do they do with adults and adolescents? And then you also see that they only focus on bad things, mental illness, problems with adolescents of smoking and drinking. Uh, and for all these groups, it's the same. The majority is doing well. And I thought, well, focus on the majority and see if we can learn from those who are do well, feel happy, uh, to help those who suffer. Well, we started with uh, collecting data in twins. In twins, you compare identical twins to fraternal twins, so the ones that are genetically identical to the ones that don't share all their genes. We found that differences between people are for 40% accounted for by genetic differences. So uh, happiness is heritable, that was the first finding. Uh, then we used genetic, molecular genetic material, so real DNA, to see if we could find anything. And then we showed that people that are more similar in their feelings of happiness do also have more similar DNA. So that was the first molecular genetic evidence. And then we brought together data of about 300,000 individuals from around the world uh, and found the first genetic variants. So we really know now where on the human genome there are variants that are related to differences in happiness. Final product, the human being, is the result of the interplay between genes and environment. So if we know more about genetic differences, we also learn more about environmental differences because your genetic predisposition exposes you to certain environments. We'll be better able to distinguish different groups of people and give them more customized prevention or intervention programs. Well, first start asking people themselves what they need and what they lack uh, to feel happy uh, and to reach the level of happiness they want to achieve. Uh, that's, I think, a starting point. And then you have all these different groups and they all have different needs. Uh, and then the next step would be to, to take a couple of focus groups. You, you will not be able to increase the level of happiness of the country easily uh, and as a whole. You need to start with different groups and, and really work together with these groups to see what they need and what they want. Thank you.